Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. Just stay home. That's what Buffalo's mayor was telling his residents today. Just stay home. I was just checking out of the Buffalo National Weather Service office. Lancaster in Erie County, New York. 60, count them, 60 inches of snow. That's five feet of snow. Yeah, yet a couple miles away. May have had bare ground. Here's what was going on. You got those strong winds coming across the Great Lakes. They're unfrozen. Seeing the blue? Water temperatures in the 40s. The air temperatures have been in the teens, and you get that uh, condensation as you get that strong wind coming across the ocean. Winds at about, or the temperatures at about 5,000 feet were about 10 below zero. Big temperature contrast brings all that moisture in, dumps it. Right on the ground. Still getting some of those bands of snow up and around Lake Erie and up toward the Buffalo area. In fact, Buffalo I 80 from about Rochester all the way, or I 90, I should say, all the way down to the PA line is just closed tonight. But look at this. North of Buffalo, nothing happening. Just south of there, though, yeah, you're getting it in feet, feet of snow. But up around here, things are fairly quiet. Clear skies. There are some flurries coming. Back up into the mountains, but I don't think we'll see those. Here's a live shot from our Harrisburg Sky Cam right now. The temperature in Harrisburg at 23. Again, a few wispy clouds starting to come back in. And still a northwest west wind at 12. Makes it feel like 12 degrees out there. Now, if that wind dies down, we will set a record tonight near 18 degrees. Regardless, though, any kind of wind is going to make it feel like it's in the single digits. Overnight tonight. And then sunny, bitter cold start. Wind chills 5 to maybe 15 as the temperatures are only in the teens and low 20s. Look for temperatures during the afternoon right around freezing for tomorrow. Today was the coldest day we've had since last March. We could be even colder during the day tomorrow. Here are the numbers out there right now 21 is popular in Sealands Grove, also in Lebanon, also in Lancaster and Coatesville. Again, when you add in a little bit of a win, it's, it's settled down from this afternoon, but still feels like below zero in Lewistown, single digits in Lebanon and Lancaster, 11 in Chambersburg and in York. Nothing on the radar around here. Like I said, there were a few flurries up into the mountains, but those clouds have a real hard time making it across the mountains. But yeah, you still have a lot of clouds around the lakes. That's because of the lake effect snow. We have the storm that went through. Brought that cold front through. That's way up into Canada. High pressure down over the southeast. The difference in the pressures. Yeah, that's causing that strong wind. What's going to kind of shoot it right in our direction is a little system back in here, a clipper system coming out of the, the northern plain states. And that could bring a few flurries tomorrow night, but really no problems weather wise. It stays pretty much clear for us uh, overnight tonight and through the start of tomorrow. And then that clipper system gets going in that strong wind. And maybe a few flurries come through with that. And then I think we're clearing it out as we head through the end of the day on Thursday. But it's going to stay mighty chilly out there. Again, still brisk wind, but not as bad as today. We may get to 40, although I'm starting to question that uh, with uh, just maybe a morning flurry on Thursday. Another cold one on Friday. That system bringing in just a little bit of reinforcing cold air. Finally, as we go through the weekend, we should get into the 40s on Saturday, 50s, maybe near 60. On Monday, but <laughs> that warmer weather does bring a little bit of wet. Anybody want to come walk the dog tonight? Nope. Uh, tell us about tomorrow. <laughs> Just kidding. <Thanks. laughs>